my speech is on the accuracy of different neural language model approaches to adverse uh, effect extraction in natural language corpora. It's uh, not a, a secret that nowadays natural language processing is a rapidly developing sphere, and in particular, one of uh, important tasks is named entity recognitions. And when we talk about biomedical texts, uh, name identical entity recognition could be useful for pharmacological supervision and uh, information aggregation about medicines and their adverse reactions. Uh, in this research, uh, we present a comparison of uh, different uh, language models based on transformer topology for the automated extraction of adverse events. An example of two medical text uh, datasets, CADEC and N2C2 2018. Uh, the uh, datasets uh, have different uh, text types. CADEC is uh, a corpus of uh, texts from forums uh, with uh, informal English uh, written by simple internet users, not uh, medical specialists. And to see to 2018 is, uh, on the other hand, uh, has uh, medical uh, discharges uh, from medical specialists, uh, in particular doctors. Excuse me, Anton, uh, can I ask you one question? Would it be possible to compress your talk to, yes, of course. let's say, 10 minutes, maximum 15, because we are way beyond the schedule. And yeah. we, uh, we, we, not only we have no break, but we cannot start the next session on time. So I, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course. So uh, let me skip this part. Uh, just a couple of words about transformer architecture. As oh, I yeah. saw yeah. before, the uh, one of uh, speakers already uh, described uh, this architecture, so I think I shouldn't. Uh, no, no, I think you should because this is interesting. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty standard for nowadays natural language processing. This architecture based on uh, self-attention layers. If uh, Simplify well. It uh, consists of uh, encoder and decoder. This the the main function is to create a vector for each input object, with taking into account another objects in the input sequence. So. Uh, in case of uh, text analysis, uh, we have input words, and on the output we have. Uh, vectors which have information not only about uh, what we consider but also about uh, the context of the words about information about uh, other words in the text um, in case of uh, named entity recognition this uh, vectors uh, further uh, are input of uh, softmax layer which uh, let us uh, get output probabilities, uh, which allow us to uh, predict uh, a tag for each word. Well, uh, there are many language models uh, about biomedical texts uh, to compare nowadays. Uh, there are many works about uh, on this topic, and uh, we consider the following uh, models uh, which are presented on the slide. Uh, as uh, you can see, there are models with a single uh, language in pre-train corpus, and also there are models that uh, are multi-language, uh, which are, well, it's obvious, bigger in terms of uh, uh, size of the vocabulary. And uh, as we would see further, they, are, they have better accuracy. If we talk about experiment uh, setup, it's pretty standard. Uh, we used uh, the same data split as in other papers from different researchers. We search hyperparameters on validation part of the data set uh, just uh, to be on to be. <clears throat> to have uh, results without uh, some tricks or anything like that. 
And also we use the early stopping technique and learning rate decay, which allow, uh, allows us to achieve better accuracy. All, uh, <laughs> all computation was carried out on NRC Kurchatov Institute complex for simulation and data processing. Well, uh, if we look about, uh, on accuracy, we could see that uh, in case of N2C2, it's a surprise that uh, XLM Roberto Lars, the biggest uh, model from uh, from the considered, uh, gives uh, uh, not very good result when uh, we used only uh, adverse uh, reaction entities uh, in training and test. But uh, when we use all entity types, uh, so it's uh, more complicated. Uh, uh, labeling uh, it uh, gives uh, a huge growth in accuracy and uh, if we talk about Kadek, uh, they also there is also XLM Roberta large has the best model so it's um, it's optimal to use this model for further research also we analyzed the uh, dependency of accuracy on uh, train size in both cases when you, we use only the ETEX or all entities types uh, for training. And as uh, we can see, if we use all entities type, uh, there is a linear growth in accuracy, which could be even further if we'll, uh, if we'll get uh, more data to train our model. So our, my conclusion is uh, this, the following. Uh, as a result, uh, we present uh, accuracies on two open medical uh, text datasets, uh, clinical and uh, informal. Uh, we have uh, the best accuracy on the XLM Roberto Large model, which is pretty obvious because this is uh, the biggest uh, model and uh, it's multilingual. Uh, also, it is uh, shown that uh, this uh, model with high complexity has better accuracy if we use all text, not only ADE text, and uh, we get particular accuracies, which you can see on the slide. Uh, so thank you for attention, and I'm ready to answer on your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, let me start if uh, others do not mind. I just want to ask you a few questions for personal uh, education, so to speak. Uh, which neural network model is now considered state-of-the-art or the best model? Well, it's uh, uh, complicated uh, because in general there is no free lunch theorem, which... Yeah, uh, of course, you know. Yes, that. yes, and in uh, and name identity recognition, in uh, particular... No, to, in today Biomedic... I heard that BERT is no longer state-of-the-art, so would it be GPT-3 yes. or what? Okay, uh, I think uh, for now the state of the art models are the more complex models than BERT. For example, XLM Robert Large, which uh, we considered, but also there are some models like T5, like uh, GPT, uh, that uh, could uh, give us even further growth in accuracy. Okay, another question just for my practical curiosity. Uh, would it be possible to use a neural network that processes language for processing the sequence of actions of a virtual agent, let's say? Yes, uh, there are several works on this. Oh, uh, there are? Maybe you can send me references. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, I can send it on email. Thank you. Thank you. We can discuss this later. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Other you. questions, please. Really? No questions? <laughs> mm -hmm. No questions. Please, go ahead. Oh, you said no question. Sorry. Yes, no questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I would explore it further, but uh, I don't want to take everybody's time. Okay. 